Hey, hey, I hope you're doing awesome today. So I'm Bethann Schwamberger and I'm gonna walk you through one of my favorite tools in my business. This particular tool is called ConvertKit and it is my email service provider. In this first video, I'm gonna show you just an overview of some of the stats you get in ConvertKit and some of the just really valuable information that ConvertKit gives you that a lot of other email service providers just don't give you. And FYI, you should know I switched from MailChimp to ConvertKit when my list was about 12 to 13,000 people large. I was paying quite a bit already on MailChimp, which you'll notice you'll start paying after you hit 2,000 subscribers. Or let's be honest, you'll start paying when you start creating multiple lists and subscribers get doubled and things like that. So once I realized that you know the costs were pretty comparable, but the features were just way better in ConvertKit, the switch was really easy. And I'll be honest, learning to use ConvertKit and navigating, that has been super easy too. But I've created several tutorial videos so that it can be just a total breeze for you as well. Let's just go over some of the basic stats they give you. So at the top here, when you log into your ConvertKit da dashboard, this is the page it'll take you to. So it'll show me subscribers. So how many subscribers do I have today? How many have I gotten in the past seven days? How many have I gotten in the past 30 days? And then my total subscriber counts. So just really valuable information to have. I, I know for sure when I have a slow week or a slow month, I'm thinking, what's going Going on I'm, I'm clearly not pushing my list building enough and so I need to do some more things to keep on growing that list the other thing too is when you scroll down here you'll see this handy bar graph and it's gonna show you so for about the past month I can hover over any of these bars and it'll show me where my subscribers are coming from so you know on this one most of the subscribers were going to sign up for a certain webinar uh, but then I was also getting subscribers for a webinar for the next week so you'll notice that trend for me lately webinars have been where it's at for for me in terms of subscriber growth I'm getting lots of people signing up for my free classes which is a lot of fun but right here you can see my brilliant life project so that's where I'm offering free planning printables that was never Adding me quite a lot of subscribers right there so anyways it's just fun information to have and to see where your list growth is really coming from as we scroll down you'll see forms so forms are basically any place you want people to give you their name and their email address and in exchange they might get a freebie or for me in a lot of cases in exchange they are signing up for a webinar you can see I have tons of webinar and class forms in there this one is a freebie but anyways with convert kits Unlike a lot of other email service providers, I can create as many forms as I want and I don't have to create all these different lists and crazy workarounds to deliver freebies to people. So I will show you that a little bit later, but you should just know that the sky is the limit. If you wanna offer a different freebie and have a different lovely opt-in form on literally every page of your site, you can absolutely do that in ConvertKit. And on your forms, you can also see, it'll show you the visitors and then the number of subscribers and then the conversion rate. So that's really valuable to have. You can see which of your freebies or which of your opt-ins are really giving you the best conversions. And um, just as a frame of reference, anything above a 33% conversion rate is pretty good. And if you're at over 50% conversion rate, seriously, give yourself a high five and a pat on the back because you're doing a great job. So that tells me that this particular this is an ebook freebie 20 brilliant opt-in offers your subscribers will love that one's doing pretty well for me I should really try to drive more visitors there because at a 60% conversion rate that's pretty great one caveat here so you'll see a lot of my forms will say zero visitors and then a hundred percent conversion well that's actually because we've taken this form and embedded it over on a lead page don't worry about that now Ellen will show you how to embed your forms in lead pages in a later video but just wanted to point that out didn't want you to think that I was some sort of a magical unicorn <laughs> getting a hundred percent conversion rates on my forms because that's not true let me show you something else that is really neat in terms of the stats that ConvertKit will give you so if I click on one of my forms and then you hit subscribers 
so I can see again visitor subscribers conversion rate but as I scroll down ConvertKit actually tells me the top refers to my form so money saving mom her periscope page she had linked to my email guide on that page for a while and so that brought us 82 visitors and 43 subscribers with a 52% conversion rate so over here what I find so so fascinating is that I can see which of my blog posts were most effective at getting me subscribers and which ones had the highest conversion rate. So I might see, for example, you know, this particular one, how we gained 5,000 targeted subscribers in one week. Well, the conversion rate on this particular blog post is not that great, only 35%. Whereas a different blog post that I wrote on how to grow your email list with Facebook, that has a conversion rate of 65%. So really, if I'm trying to build my list and I wanna use this freebie to do it, I should be pointing people towards this particular blog post as opposed to some of my other posts. So I just find that so fascinating to see what converts the best, what's most effective, where are my subscribers coming from. I mean, you can see here, so Jenny of Little Girl Designs, thank you, Jenny. She shared about us on her blogging resources page, and so that has brought us a few subscribers. So it's just so neat. I can see blog posts that work well, and also who else is talking about us that works well. Now, you should know that this unknown up here, I'm pretty sure that this is Instagram for me, because. Uh, every now and then I will um, do a post just about this great guide on Instagram and link to it in my profile. And so I can see up here, I've gotten quite a lot of subscribers from that, 310 with a 45% conversion rate. So not too bad, especially not too bad considering Instagram and the nature of people just kind of scrolling through their feed and going quickly. But all that to say, I just think that is so, so valuable. And that's not something that I could do inside MailChimp. I couldn't see where are all my subscribers coming from for a certain form. Well, not to mention, they don't even have this whole forms feature. I would just have to have a hundred different lists for all my different things going on. Here's another example. So Brilliant Life Project, if I wanna see again, where am I most effective at building this list? I can come right here and see, okay, so Facebook has been really good for me, which is great to know because I've been doing Facebook Lives about four times a week around the Brilliant Life Project, and I've been telling people, hey, grab your free printables here. So I can see that, you know, I am getting a lot of visitors and subscribers through pointing people over from Facebook. Now, it is interesting to see that my conversion rate for a lot of these um, referrers is much less than that 20 brilliant opt-in offers. So only sitting at between 20 and 30 some percent. So you know what that tells me because most of these were video posts that I did and I just said in the description of the video, hey, by the way, go check out my free printables. What I think I really should do to get a higher conversion rate is have a Facebook post that is just about the free printables, I promote that post and say, hey, come grab all your fabulous printables here. And I have a hunch that that might convert a little bit better because it would be a very clean, direct, and simple call to action. Once again, a shout out to Crystal from Money Saving Mom because she talked about my free habit tracker and she has brought some subscribers my way. So. This, for example, if you're guest posting, let's say you're guest posting in 10 different places, but you've got the same related freebie that you'd like to offer in all 10 places. Well, no worries because you could link through to that same sign up form and you can tell right here which guest post opportunity was most effective at building your list. So crazy cool, right? Let me show you just one last valuable stat that I love that I can get from ConvertKit. I can actually get a lot of valuable data on any of my subscribers. So let's take, for example, my Get Found Guide customers. So I can head over here, click on an individual subscriber, and I can actually see when did they subscribe to my list and how many emails have they opened of mine. So this particular person is very new to me. They signed up for one of my webinars, which hasn't even happened yet, but they've already purchased my Get Found Guide to Etsy. That is super cool. It'll show me over here that this particular email was delivered, but doesn't look like it was opened just yet. 
let's head back over so you can see maybe some of my older subscribers and some really interesting data you can get on them. So I'll take my time management mama list. So these are people who signed up for our freebies after reading our book, Time Management Mama. So let me click on one of these subscribers. I can see which list this person is on. So they're on my general Brilliant Business Moms list and my time management mama list. And then I can see, whoa, here are all the different broadcasts that they've received from me and I can see which ones they have opened. You can also see on here, um, if you have unsubscribers, you can see, you know, how many emails did that person that unsubscribed open before they decided, nah, not for me, I'm unsubscribing. I always find that really interesting because, you know, a lot of times it's somebody who they thought they wanted what you had to offer, they wanted to grab your freebie, but after that they were just out. It's a very different thing than when you get somebody who's gotten 10 of your emails and then all of a sudden decides to unsubscribe. I just find it really valuable to see. And you know, it's really interesting to me to see that a lot of these emails were not opened, but it gives me a lot of information on what made these certain emails be opened by this person. So this one, read your brave pants look great on you that one got a high open rate for me in general how to create irresistible pins a special invitation now see th that might be a phrase i would like to use again um, how to stop the insanity once and for all but what if they don't like it meet your new business bestie she's awesome at everything so anyways i can kind of see a trend that when i have a more intriguing or curiosity inducing title for my emails, they get opened a lot more. And those are all of the valuable stats that you can get from ConvertKit. And to be honest, that's just the beginning. You'll see in a few other videos, some other valuable stats you can get. But I just wanted to show you how informative this particular email service provider is and how it can help you to make the kinds of decisions that will grow your business more quickly. That's it for this video. Now it's your turn to head out there and be brilliant.